going to be showing you this really cool card trick um, involving this three this three card packet. Now before I do that, I want to mention below that uh, if you feel like you're struggling as a beginner or maybe you think you need to learn uh, more like the fundamentals, the basic moves, make sure to click the link down below in the description box. That should be able to help you out. Uh, anyways guys, here is the actual trick. Alright, so to start it off, let's say we take the King of Hearts here and let's say we move that one to the bottom and then I can flip it over and show you guys that it actually comes back to the top and then let's say I move it to the bottom again as I can show you guys the King of Hearts is going to come right back up to the top put it back to the bottom and the King of Hearts is going to come back to the top so you're probably thinking that I actually have three King of Hearts but in reality I'll show you guys that right here I have a King of Spades I have another King of Spades and I have a third King of Spades so this is a trick guys and if you want to do it don't forget to stick around for the tutorial Alright, so I actually first saw this card trick um, on a channel called A Million Card Tricks. I was just kind of going through my suggested videos. This one popped up. And I felt like this this is a trick that a lot of you guys should learn. And I want to redirect you over to his channel because um, it's growing. And I feel like he has a lot of potential on YouTube. So make sure to check him out, guys. Um, anyways, here's how the trick is going to actually work. So let's say what you want to do is you're going to be taking three cards here. And you're going to have two duplicates. And then one kind of standalone but you have to make sure that the standalone card um, contrasts so in this case I have a three uh, kings here two king of spades two or one uh, king of hearts so you start it off by placing the king of hearts in the middle and then you're going to do a double lift so all I do is I just pull down the bottom card with my pinky and I have a two card packet and I flip over the two card packet as one and then I do the same pinky pull down doubling flipping that card over and saying look I'm gonna go ahead and take the king and put this to the bottom and now you don't say I'm gonna take the top card and put it to the bottom you just say the king okay because it's kind of already implied when you're flipping over a card that's a top card so if you mention saying it's a top card uh, the spectator might have might be a little bit suspicious so let's say we take the, the card here and this isn't actually the king of hearts you move that to the bottom and then you do a single lift so now the king of hearts is actually on top at this point you say look I'm gonna take the king and I'll put it back on the bottom so you flip it face down you do a pinky you do a pinky pull down and now you have a two card packet on top and you take the block of cards here which is two cards and you say look I'm gonna go ahead and take the king and move that to the bottom now what you're doing is moving that double and now the king of hearts is going to be back in the middle and then you can repeat the process as many times as you like you do your pinky pull down you do a double lift you show it this is still a double lift here. You flip it back over, put a single card on the bottom, do a single lift on top, and then you do a pinky pull down, moving that block to the bottom, and then you're set up to do the pinky pull down again. So you can do it as many times as you like, and at this point, once you've done the, the double lift, you move the single card to the bottom, and when you have the king on top in this position, what you want to do is move the king for real, and you put this actually to the bottom, and you say, look, I might, it looks like I have three king of hearts, but when you do is you put it in the middle grip, thumb over the top card. So you go one, two, three. And it looks like you have three king of hearts. At this point, you're going to end up with the king on top. And what you want to do here is pull the top card down. You say, look, it might look like I have three kings, but in reality, and when you say in reality, you pull the one card down and then you push. As you can see, this is what it looks like. You have one card on top, two cards blocked on the bottom. And what you do is you push the middle card out a little bit. So now you should have the two, the top and bottom card, as you can see, are lined up. They're flush with each other with the middle card protruding. And what you do is with your right hand, you slide out the double packet. You kind of bend it so this way the corners and everything line up. You bend it and you show it to the spectator and say, look, I actually have a king of spades. And this is a double right here. See, so look, I have the king of spades. And you put the king of spades down. And then you put this card to the table, which is going to be the king of hearts. And you say, look, now I have another king of spades. And then the last one. So this is a trick. I hope everything makes sense for you guys. Uh, don't forget to check out uh, a million card tricks. Anyways, this is the video. Hope you guys like it. And as always. Going to be featuring a different channel um, on here so if you want to get directly to the actual trick you can click here this way you guys aren't gonna be bored with whatever I'm gonna be saying um, but for those of you who kind of want a little more insight on YouTube 
um, and getting noticed and all that kind of stuff, you might want to stick around. So what I want to start doing here is I've noticed that a lot of you guys in the comments, I'll go through and I'll actually click on your channel to see what kind of content you guys have. And for the most part, it's pretty decent. Um, and I feel bad that a lot of you aren't really getting the exposure that I feel you guys might deserve. So if you feel um, like you deserve to be checked out, make sure to email me. Um, click in the About tab and email me some videos. I'll go through my best, uh, to the best of my abilities, and try to pick someone who I feel like deserves to be, um, you know, exposed here on my channel. This way, they can get some more viewers and some more subscribers. So, uh, the whole thing here is I want you guys to watch this guy's videos, uh, or this video that I'm gonna be showing you here. It's really good. Um, honestly, I think he's a little bit better than I am. So make sure to watch this entire video. Uh, go through, click on his channel. Um, and anyways, guys, here is the actual video. All right, guys, so uh, a big thank you goes out to Hester's channel for uh, allowing me to uh, collab with him, essentially. So I really hope you guys uh, take something out of this neat little um, card trick I have today. And uh, it's pretty unique. I'm sure you guys haven't seen something exactly like this. But, I mean, maybe you have. Uh, but it's really cool and uh, just really special, and I just want to share it with you. So uh, thanks again to Hester Channel, and uh, go ahead and check out my channel, Nubs Magic, because I do have uh, similar content to uh, Hester's channel, um, in the sense, uh, performances and tutorials of card tricks, and I also have Flourish tutorials and uh, some more card slide tutorials. So uh, go ahead and check out my channel, it'll be in the uh, description below, and uh, without further ado, let's get into the performance for uh, this trick. Alright, so for this trick, I need a small packet of cards. I'll show you that these cards ha are alternating uh, red, black, 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 all the way throughout. You get the idea. Um, what we're going to do here is sort of like an uh, observation test. Okay, so uh, we're going to take a look at the two bottom cards. We have the uh, Queen of Spades. And we have uh, the two of hearts, all right? Queen of spades and the two of hearts. The queen of spades is a black card. So I just want you to tell me which one out of these two top cards um, are black. Now, this is a practice round. So uh, the spectator is just going to go ahead and guess which one of these two are black. Let's say they think this one is black. In this case, they would be right, all right? Because it is a black card and the other card is a red card. We'll put the excess card, so the indifferent card, on the bottom of the deck. And we'll put the actual correct card, the black card, right there um, in its column. Now we're going to do it for real, as the first time was a practice round, as I said. So, which one of these two cards do you think is red? This is what I'd be asking the spectator. Let's say they think this card is red. We're not going to take a look at it. We're just going to place it down, and the other card goes on the bottom. Once again, which one do you think is black? Let's say they think this one is black put this on the bottom which one do you think is red this one all right think is black let's say they think this one which one do you think is red this one all right which one do you think is black are you mix it up let's say they think this one and the last one which one do you think is red let's say they think this one put this one on the bottom once again I'm going to show you that the cards have been alternating since the very beginning of the trick all right they have been alternating in red black order all the way throughout all right now we're going to take a look at uh, your uh, selections. All right, so we have two columns, black, red. Let's take a look at the black cards first. Hopefully you should have one, two, three, and all four black cards to be in the black pile. And in the red pile, that only means we have the one, two, three, and four red cards to be united as well. And uh, that is... Uh, the trick. Let's get right in to the tutorial. All right, so grab a deck of cards and we'll get started here. So what you're gonna need are uh, eight black cards. They can be any any black cards. I just shuffled the deck and got eight black cards that I came to. And then in the uh, red cards, you need nine red cards. Okay. So this is a simple setup. Um, and it's not very difficult to remember. I'll put it in uh, simple terms for you guys. So you're just going to take two black cards, place them down. You're going to take two red cards, place them down. 
two black cards, place them down. Two red cards. Two black cards. Two red cards. And two black cards, just like that. All right, now you need two more red cards. And you're set. Now you have one extra red card. And this red card is gonna go on the top of the deck to give the illusion that the cards are alternating. When in fact, it's not alternating uh, at all, all right? Just like that, all right? So you can go ahead, pause the video here, and you know, uh, do this setup. So once again, one red card, two black cards, two red cards, two black cards, two red cards, two black cards, two red cards, two black cards, and two red cards again. So you have just two, or sorry, four black pairs, one pair, two pair, three pair, four pair, and then four uh, red card pairs. So one pair, two pair, three pair, four pair, and then just one random red card on the top. All right, once you have this, you're ready to uh, begin the trick. And uh, there are really no slights involved in this. So uh, this is a beginner level trick. So uh, once you have this set up, you're ready to begin with the actual handling of the trick. All right, so when you begin the trick, you have your setup, your 17 card setup. And um, what you're gonna do is show the top two cards, red, black, place them down, push out the top two cards again, show them red, black. And they may be alternating like this, red, black. And when you show the next one, it's red, black here, sorry, red here, and then black here, but no one's really gonna notice. So, red, black to show them, make sure the spectator sees this clearly. Red, black, red, black. And when you get to the last three cards, you have two options. You can either put all three cards down and say you get the idea, or you can uh, not do that, and you can push over the top card while keeping these two cards in a sort of block and just flash them like that. All right, so you have three cards left. You push over the top card. You keep these two cards square right here just like that. You show these two and say red, black. Put this on top and drop the pack. I usually just do, you get the idea and show all three cards. Uh, no one's really called me out on that, so uh, there's no need to worry there. And this is what I did in the performance as well. I just said, you get the idea and I put them on top. So it's up to you what you wanna do, but um, yeah, so you're just gonna put them on top, square the cards up. You're gonna flip over the cards like this and you should have one black card and one red card, all right? If you don't have that, uh, then your setup is uh, probably wrong. So you just wanna go ahead and clarify that you've done it correctly. Um, so you're gonna push over the top card. It's gonna be black, you're gonna place it down, and then you're gonna push over a red card. Now when you push over the red card, they're gonna be able to see that it is not alternating because there should be a black card if uh, the cards really were alternating. So what you're gonna do is uh, take the red card, Lift it up like this with your index finger, just just a red card. Pick it up and wrist kill with your left hand and place these down and put the red card down. All right, once again, you have your black card, place it down, lift up singular. And as you move here, you're gonna wrist kill just like that. So no one sees that red card there, all right? That is essentially really the only slight that is involved in the trick. Uh, the rest is already done for you because of your setup, okay? So now when you show the top two cards, you're going to push over the top two cards and say this is a practice round. I want you to just go ahead and guess which one of these cards are black, all right? They're going to go ahead and guess. If they pick the top card, uh, they will always be right, all right? So let's say they pick the bottom card. You say, oh, you're wrong that time because this is actually the black card. But I mean, it's 50-50, I can't blame you. And then you're just gonna take the actual black card and place it down, just like that. And then you're gonna say with the excess card, you're just gonna place it on the bottom of the deck. All right? And then you justify again, it was a practice round. We're gonna do it for real. And then we're gonna take a look at your results at the very end, all right? Um, just go ahead, push over the top two cards. They guess which one is red. Now, because of your setup, these two cards are already both red. So no matter what they pick, it's gonna be right because of that setup. So let's think the bottom one is red. You say, all right, cool, we're gonna place that down and place the other card on the bottom. All right, and then you can go ahead, show the two black cards.
just like that. All right, push out to top two cards. They're gonna think which one is black. Let's say I think this one's black. They're gonna place it down, place it on the bottom. Once again, which one of these do you think is red? They're already both red. They place that down. Which one do you think is black? They're already both black. Place that down. There. Which one do you think is red? Let's say I think this one. Make sure you're placing the excess card on the bottom because if you place it on top, you're just gonna screw up your uh, setup. Now you do it four times. So we've done three, three. We need the last one. Let's say I think this one is black. Place it on the bottom. The fourth time here, which is the final time. Let's say I think this one is red. Place it on the bottom. Now you're instantly set to show that all these cards have been alternating. This is uh, the moment where they realize you didn't do anything sneaky because they have been alternating since the start. If you don't show these and you say, look, let's go ahead and turn them over, they're gonna assume that you did something sneaky. So when you show this in their head, they're gonna think, oh, okay, they really have been alternating since the beginning, all right? So this setup is just so great because you can just show it just perfectly, all right? So red, black, red, black, red, black, and they're gonna see it. And you go ahead, you can even keep it like this and flip it over and show that they've been alternating. You just want this picture to stay in their head as you're flipping the cards, all right? So I usually just, if I'm performing at a table, I usually just spread them out at the table, just like this, show they've been alternating. And then I usually start with the black cards. I say, look, uh, I guess you're uh, feeling pretty lucky today because I think you have all of the black cards and you know, they're, they're pretty amazed and you say which only means you can have all of the red cards to be united as well and you know that is the end of the trick you're gonna get great reactions from this and I really hope you uh, go out there and perform this and uh, honestly just blow minds all right so thank you very much for watching guys go ahead and watch this tutorial a few times i know it's maybe a little confusing uh but trust me this is a solid trick um which will get you great reactions all right so once again please check out my channel uh for more tricks like these uh, the neat little tricks that you can do uh, you know impromptu uh so thank you very much again uh hester i appreciate it for letting me be on your channel and uh, yeah guys hope you enjoyed and uh peace So today I'm going to be showing you a trick um, that is a little bit different involving a phone here. So a lot of people I've seen in the comments want me to do some tricks kind of separate uh, from cards, but today I'm going to show you the exact same trick. Um, all I did was just kind of add in a deck of cards just to make the trick a little bit uh, a little bit better. So the thing is you can use the basic concept of the trick without a deck of cards and this is what it is going to look like. So basically let's say we have a calculator here and you can give it to somebody and they can plug in a few random numbers and let's say they would just go ahead and they would multiply them together. These are completely random numbers. And as soon as we multiply them, it should be a huge number here. I'm going to show you guys. We have, it looks like, 485,169,776. So what I'm going to do here is over here in this packet of cards, let's say, um, we mix it up real quick. And then what's going to happen is the spectator is going to say stop whenever they like. So let's say they said stop here completely random choice and on this card any card they could have chosen they happen to pick the card with the exact same prediction so uh, this is a card trick and if you guys learn how to do it don't forget to stick around for the tutorial all right so here's how you guys can do the trick um, I'm gonna show you what I did with the deck of cards after I kind of get over like the main concept so basically all you have to do is get a number that you write down or a number that you're going to have the prediction of and you write that down and you plug that into the calculator and you're going to want to put that in the range of hundreds of millions because if you give a spectator um, if you give a spectator a couple options to plug in a separate three digit numbers and the value is too high or too low they're going to notice that the calculator is a little bit off and there's something going on so you kind of want to make it about uh, this size and at this point what you want to do is click plus zero times and you're basically set up. So obviously you can see the little time square is has a black outline. So then all you have to do is click zero. And now you are completely ready to go. It looks like a brand new fresh calculator. At this point, you're going to have the spectator uh, go on to the phone. And you can tell them that they can multiply a couple numbers. So go ahead and tell them they're going to multiply like a three-digit number. So they plug in here. And then you tell them to click times. 
and it's going to go back to zero just like that. Now, in the most cases, the spectator is not going to notice that the number is going back to zero once they hit the uh, the multiply button. So what you can do is you can have it in your hands and they can see you plugging in that number. And then when you click times, you can kind of just angle it around so they can't see the zero. But obviously they can see you clicking in numbers and you hitting times. So that necessarily isn't too sketchy. But at this point, once you've had them plug in enough numbers, once they're done, you can have them click equals.
Thank you.